everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, and it's not any better. So, normally I post tutorials on how to do things, and um, today's gonna be a little different. It's going to be how not to make a uh, pumpkin puree. Yep, we started off good. We got a, a local pumpkin from a local farmer. We cut her up, we scooped out all those seeds so we could make roasted pumpkin seeds. Then I put them both open side down on a baking tray. And this is where things start to go sideways. This should have been my first hint. The pumpkin and the oven. Might not have been the right size. Anyway. So pop the pumpkin in the oven to roast it up and get it all soft and easy to peel. And I separated my seeds to make roasted pumpkin seeds. I kept my pumpkin seeds simple with just a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and a pinch of paprika. And here I am again, checking on my pumpkin with a skewer to see if it's soft enough. I was wrong. It wasn't. Should have left it in probably for another half hour. I mean, it looks nice and roasted, but yeah, it's still quite half raw, unfortunately. So I put them to the side to let them cool down enough to handle. Look at all that steam. In the meantime, while the oven's still hot, I put my pumpkin seeds on another baking tray and pop them into the oven. I checked these about every five to 10 minutes to see how they were doing and still managed to burn them. I am not a cook. I ate them anyway, I'm broke, so. All right, now on to the pumpkin. This is where I, I should have just cut my losses, put the whole thing back in the oven, and baked it for another half hour, 40 minutes. But I didn't, I was stubborn. So I just took a little paring knife and just peeled off the peel and put it in my bowl for pureeing later. This took way too much time. Now once I had all my pumpkin separated from my pumpkin skin, I put in a strainer and put it in the bowl and put it in the fridge overnight because it was late and I was done with that shit. That was another mistake. So in the morning I had all this drained pumpkin juice which I threw out because that was another mistake. Because when I went to blend my roasted pumpkin, it was too dry and wouldn't blend, so I had to add water. But I'm using an old blender. And after I got all of this done, I realized I have a bullet blender I should have used. But hey, whatever, I guess. And it's about this time I'm realizing that, yes, it is not cooked enough. So once I gave up on the blender, I put it all back on the pot and put it on the stove. And cooked it down again. This time I used the potato masher. Mashy smashy, get out the frustrations from doing this a long way because we're stubborn. Then I put the now actually cooked pumpkin back in the blender, poked it around until it actually pureed. And we continued on from there. Now because my pumpkin batter was full of water from where I added water to blend it when it wasn't fully cooked, I thought, well, I need to strain this. So I had some cheesecloth. And I was scooping it into the cheesecloth and squeezing out the water. <laughs> because it was really wet. <laughs> I thought this was what I was supposed to do. And Sometimes you just give up after a while and you just sit there and you're like, I'm just going to play with the food. That's really all there is to it. So that's what I did. Take a couple of scoops, give it a squeeze, put it back in the pot. Then I put it all back on the stove to try and get some more water out of it, because I did. And then eventually I just plopped it in the strainer and let it drain out that last little bit. Then I bagged it up in two cup portions because that is the recipe instructions that I have. And in total, out of my giant pumpkin, I ended up with... And three quarters, two, four, six. Yeah, about seven and three quarters cups of final puree pumpkin, which would have been a lot easier to achieve 
had I just roasted it properly the first time. Anyway, that's how not to make a pureed pumpkin. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. And have a good one. Bye!